Here's five pro tips to smooth video in Final Cut Pro. I'll show you how to stabilize shaky footage in one click and then how to get smooth drool inducing slow-mo. I'll also show you the right way to do a speed ramp. And at the end, I'll show you a quick way to make this cool locked on stabilization effect made famous by Dr. Dre. All right, I have some footage when I lived in Panama for a few months, a couple years ago. And there's this footage of these cute little baby crocodiles or alligators jumping into the water. And you can see it kind of shakes a little bit as I zoom in and I move around. One of the fastest, easiest ways to smooth out your video is to make it slow. It doesn't take out the shake, but it hides it behind some slow motion. This works really well for footage that was shot at a higher frame rate, like 60 or 120 frames per second. If I select this clip and I go up here to the inspector by clicking on this button with the three sliders, and then I click on the info inspector, you'll see that this was shot at 120 frames per second. And my project is 24 frames per second, so I can slow this down considerably and it still look good in the project. So I'll select the clip and then I'll go up here to my retimer options in the bottom left-hand corner of my viewer and I'll click slow and let's go down to 25%. Now, as I play it back, I'm zooming in. You can't see the shake as much. It's smoothed out a little bit and we have a nice slow playback. If you don't wanna slow down your video, no worries. There's some built-in stabilize functions in Final Cut Pro. So stabilization works on the entire clip. So if your clip is fairly smooth, but then there's a section that is really shaky or needs some work, cut that section out and just apply stabilization to that part that you need to stabilize. Otherwise, it'll take longer and eat up computer resources. So here's a video of me dancing with my friend. We caught some fish on Lake Gatun, which is uh, part of the Panama Canal. It was such an experience. You can see in the clip that it shakes a little bit, it moves it around a little bit. Let's uh, see if we can smooth that out. So I'll select my clip and I'll go to the inspector. If you don't see the inspector open, just click this button right here with the three sliders. And then go to the video inspector by clicking on this film strip icon. Down at the bottom, you'll see this stabilization option. Click it to enable it. Final Cut will analyze the video clip and then it will apply some stabilization to it. So you'll see that we have method here. We have automatic. So Final Cut will analyze and decide which one to use. And it will decide between inertia cam and smooth cam. In this case, it has picked inertia cam. Inertia cam is good for shots with some pans and zooms. And most of the time, this is what Final Cut Pro will pick and it does a good job. Now, before I change anything, let's see how it did. Pretty good, it's pretty smooth. It was already pretty smooth to begin with, but if we increase the smoothness, you'll notice it's kind of zooming in and cropping the image. So if you're gonna use stabilization, try and do it on footage that is a higher resolution than your project. In this case, this is, if we look at the info inspector, you can see this is HD footage, which is what my project is. And so if I use stabilization and I zoom in too much, I'm gonna lose some resolution. So be careful, try to use a higher resolution image if you can. We'll leave it set at one and You'll see I have tripod mode available. If Final Cut Pro analyzes it and thinks, hey, I can take out all the shakiness and make it look like it's sitting on a tripod, it will make this available. Other times it will just be grayed out. So if I click that, you'll see it zoomed in a little bit. And now let's play that back. Now there's no movement to it at all. And it's like it's on a tripod. All right, here's a clip of my son learning to surf in Panama. He got good so fast and I died nearly every time trying to surf. What the heck? Anyway. We'll select our clip and we'll go to the inspector and we'll enable stabilization. Final Cut Pro will analyze it. And in this case, it has decided that smooth cam is best for this video. So you'll notice with smooth cam, we have some different parameters here. We have three sliders, transition, rotation, and scale. So transition slider is going to adjust the clip up and down, left and right. Rotation is going to look and worry about the rotation of the image at the center of it. And then scale is how close it is to the camera and how far away it is. You can use these to adjust the stabilization on those different axes. If I want more stabilization in the up, down, left, right, then I'll slide my translation slider to the right. If I don't want it at all, I'll go to the left and put it to zero. This clip doesn't have a lot of rotation movement, so I'm gonna put that down to zero and it doesn't really zoom in and out either, so I'll put scale down to zero. Now, this is what that video clip looks like. It's a lot more stable. Let's turn it off. And we can see the before. And then with it on, you can see the, the shake in the camera for my hands is taken out. Okay, I have this clip of a guy jumping out of a tree into a river in Panama. And I wanna make this really smooth slow-mo. So I'll select the clip and you can see in the info inspector that I shot this at a high frame rate, 120 frames per second. And we're in a 24 frames per second project, so I can slow this down quite a bit. So I'll select the clip and then I'll go up to my retiming options in the bottom left-hand corner of the viewer. I could select slow, but I'm gonna let Final Cut Pro calculate the automatic speed based on the frame rate it was shot at. So I'll click automatic speed. You'll see that it slowed it down to 20%. 
here's what that looks like now. That is so smooth and slow. I love it. It's crisp too. What a cool shot. Oh man, that slow-mo is smooth. If I'm smooth and doing a good job, will you please give this video a thumbs up? Thanks, I appreciate it. In a second, I'm gonna show you that cool locked on stabilization effect. But first, I wanna show you how to do speed ramp the right way. There's a cool effect you can use for making a quick transition. So we're going from this room into the bathroom and I wanna add some kind of movement like there, some speed to it. So what most people do is they skim to where they want to speed up and they'll press Command B and it cuts their clip into two. And then they'll skim to where they want to stop speeding up and be back to normal speed and press Command B. So now we've got our clip into three parts. Then they'll select the middle clip and they'll just go here to the timing options and they'll go fast, you know, they'll pick something. And this is what that looks like. It's moving along and then it goes real quick. It works, but it's not smooth. It's kind of jarring. So there's a better way to do that. I'm gonna undo all those changes and I'll bring up the range selection tool by clicking on the tool selector here and selecting range selection or even faster, I like to just press R and it switches to the range selector tool. And I'll skim to where I want to start. This looks good. And I'll click and drag to the right until I get to the end point. And this looks good. Next, I'll go up here to the retiming options and I'll select fast. Let's go eight times. And you'll see it just sped up that section we had picked. So let's take a look at it now. Doesn't that look way better? It's smoother and it just has some style to it. Now, if I've selected the wrong starting clip, no problem. I can click right here on this little tab and it brings up our speed transition. I'll select edit for source frame and now I can move that. I can move it forward in time. I want it to start, oh, right about here, okay? You'll notice that it added these gray bars here. Those are our transitions. So instead of going from normal speed to sped up speed instantly, it gradually makes that change. And so I can click and drag on the end of these to make the transition longer. I really like to pull these two to the middle more like that. And we'll pull this one to the middle. And then we have a nice smooth transition into that fast speed. And then I can do the same for the end here. I can make that transition out smooth. All right, here's how that speed ramp looks. We're moving along in the beautiful bedroom and then whoosh into the bathroom. Isn't that so much better looking? It's smooth, it's cinematic, it's got style. All right, let's create that cool locked on effect. I want this woman's face to stay in the center of the video. So I'll select my clip. I'll go to the video inspector and just go with me on this for right now. I'm gonna change the scale to negative 130%. It's gonna flip it upside down and it's going to mirror the image. Don't worry, we'll fix it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna hold down option and I'm gonna click and drag this clip to make a duplicate copy of it. Now I'll select the first copy of that clip and I'm gonna go down in the inspector to trackers I'll click this plus to add a tracker. And then I want to adjust this to be right on her nose, right in the center of her face. And then let's make it smaller. This is the area that Final Cut Pro is going to use to track. So we're gonna make it just on her nose and we can change the position of it as well. And let's make it a little bit circular. Let's zoom in and make sure we got it just right. Okay, we can move that around. And if I click on this right here, I can make it a little more circular. Perfect. All right. Now I'll click analyze in the upper left-hand corner of the viewer and Final Cut Pro will analyze that video and follow her nose. If we skim across that, we can see that the track works really well. It's right on her nose. We'll click done and then I'll press shift Z in the viewer to zoom out. Now I'm gonna take my clip that we duplicated earlier and I'm gonna put it right on top of my tracked clip. I'll select my top clip and in the viewer, I'll right click and select transform. Up here in this little pop-down menu, I'll select tracker I'll set to object track. And you'll see it flipped it over and it put her right side up. Now I want her to be in the middle of the video. So I'll go up here to view and I'm gonna click show horizon. And this shows us the center of our video. And then all I have to do is adjust the position in the inspector. I'll click and drag up or down on the X position to put her in the middle. And then let's bring her down to with the Y position. We'll just put her nose right in the center. And then I'll click done. We'll click view and uncheck show horizon to turn that off. And now let's play that back. And you'll see it keeps her right in the center as she's running along, but it does this weird kind of rotation thing. No worries, we can fix that. I'll select the top clip. I'll right click in the viewer, select transform. And up here by tracker, I'll click on that down arrow and I will uncheck rotation. I just want it to track and move the position. And I'll click done. And now let's play that back. Boom, she's locked right in the middle. Oh, what a cool effect. Thanks, Dr. Dre. I didn't forget about you. All right, now that you've got smooth video, there might be times that you wanna do a freeze frame in Final Cut Pro. I put together my top six tips for creating a freeze frame in Final Cut Pro. Check it out. I'm frozen.